Julbich's header. Nicely played by Robinson to release Downing. Rukovitsa peeled away. Allowed Downey to run into space. Hardwell again. Hardwell did just enough to get past the Aquitos. He scores in front of the shed. Another goal for the former captain. And they deserve that lead the glory. Oh, they certainly did deserve it. Melbourne finally cracking under immense, immense early pressure from Perth. A desperate Perth glory. And it's Jimmy Downey who's done to Melbourne what Armand Elric did for Wellington last weekend. Matthew Kemp caught upfield, the change in possession, left the space of left fullback for Jimmy Downey to exploit. Turning onto his left foot, he clips a very nicely floated ball in. And even in the last, it was the desperation of Pantelides, and I believe the deflected header coming off the back of Pantelides, squirting past the Oclatos. Velosimo towards Harnwell. Clearance straight into Brebner and a brace for Robinson. Rukovitsa. Rukovitsa. He knew what was going in from the moment it left his boot. His first goal in front of the home fans and the glory. They're surely on their way to three points. Two nil up. Oh, Brenton, you've just put the commentator's curse on the glory. They'll have your guts for garters after saying that beautiful goal, Nikita Rukovica. And again, it's come from the left fullback position. Matthew Kemp out of the game. Roddy Vargas squared up against Rukovica. Melbourne making a complete hash of clearing their lines. The ball squeezed wide to Rukovica. He was only ever going to go onto his favoured left foot. And what a peach of a finish. Brilliant stuff for the glory. The Aquatos could only watch. Matthew Kemp has gone over to take the corner in front of the travelling supporters. Again, it's whipped in low. Prentice got the header away. Here's Caceres. Stunning goal from Adrian Caceres. He's got one back against his former club. What a strike. Brilliant strike, Adrian Caceres. Another player who struggled to maintain the consistent faith of coach Ernie Merrick, but that'll do his team a world of good as Mitchell Prentice at full strength can only glance the ball into the path of a Melbourne player, and it's Adrian Caceres who lets rip with a fizzer for 2-1. So the victory get the second half underway, attacking the goal to the left of screen. And they really wanted three points tonight, so they need two goals if they want to go away with a victory. Colosimo asked Carpe to chase. He did well, Jerry Carpe. Here's Rukovica! second half for Perth glory and it's the right foot of Nikita Rukovica who's normally only used it for getting on the local bus has just put a knife through the heart of Melbourne victory beautiful touch with the left and what about that with the right foot Nikita Rukovica 3-1 Perth oh yeah baby what about Jerry Carpe wonderful ball he had two defenders he had to thread it through the eye of a needle to give his fellow striker a chance and then Rukovica made the most of it.